Reddy died today. Edward George Reddy was the chairman of the board of the Union Broadcasting Systems Corporation. And he died at 11 o'clock this morning of a heart condition. And woe is us. We're in a lot of trouble. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, <laughs> honored guests. That was a scene from 1976 movie called Network. You remember Howard Beale, the mad prophet of the airwaves. Hold your attention, didn't I? <laughs> Tonight is a training session. Tonight we're going to learn the difference between an idea and a belief. Many of us never thought about this. Many of us have often wondered, we have ideas and beliefs every single day. The human mind is one of the most fascinating instruments you could possibly imagine. Think of all the ideas that have been created in history. The light bulb, the stove, the steam-powered engine, rocket fuel, the space shuttle, and yes, nuclear fuel. All of these started as ideas in someone's mind. Every single one of them. The Declaration of Independence itself is an idea-based document. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, and that they are endowed by their creator for certain inalienable rights. If that isn't an idea, I don't know what is. Let's think about beliefs. What beliefs do you have? What do we think of when we think of beliefs? Tonight we're going to learn the difference between the idea and belief. In front of you, you have a handout that explains a little bit about what I'm talking The difference between the idea and the belief. And I intend to be invigilant in terms of making sure that we understand the idea and the belief as they are in just the creation. First thing we have to understand about an idea is we have to break it down in terms of what idea means. <clears throat> Innovation dealing with everyday attitudes. This means we are constantly challenging ourselves to be innovators in every single thing we do. I want to ask a question of one of our audience members tonight. Diane, what's the last idea you had? to the dean of this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> and would you classify that as something that is relative in nature, or would you classify that as something more concrete? Relative. Exactly. An idea is transitory in nature. We have thousands of ideas every single day. We are constantly coming up with new ways to do things. The human mind is constantly generating solutions to potential situations. Now let's focus on belief. What, what is something, what is a belief that you have? I believe in that story I just gave. And would you classify that as something that is entrenched, as something that you hold to be true, or would you say that's more relative than that? I think it's something that's true. true. Exactly. There's the difference, the key difference between ideas and beliefs. An idea, anybody can come up, anybody can have ideas. But once we believe that idea to be true, and that's the key to it, belief, then it becomes a belief. Now let's think about some ideas <coughs> and beliefs for a moment. Try to imagine it like a tropical system forming in the Atlantic as they are right now. Wave comes off the coast and it's just a tropical wave. It's nothing really defined. It's nothing really concrete or anything. It's just a mass of clouds, thunderstorms, showers moving off the coast. But with time, with patience, it becomes a tropical depression. Then it becomes a storm. Then it becomes a hurricane. The idea behind an idea, and there itself is an idea, 
is that initially, when it's in that tropical wave stage, what do we conceive that idea to be? Can it be anything? Or is it something so elusive that we just can't wrap our head around? We hear ideas such as democracy, freedom, liberty, equality. These are all ideas that we hear talked about all the time. We hear them on television, we read about the newspaper, we read about in magazines. But do they really, what do they mean? That's where it transitions from idea to belief. Because once we hold an idea to be true, it's harder to change, it's more entrenched, and it tends to be a little bit more defensive. Because if somebody is attacking what we believe to be true, we perceive it as an attack on us. A great example of this is look around you in every single day. Whenever you're challenging someone's belief, then you meet more aggressiveness. You naturally meet that sort of psychological response. Is that there tends to be more resistance in terms of being able to change it. But if it's just an idea, well, you call it another idea. You can easily change that and become something more. In terms of ideas and beliefs, I'll give you a great example of this. Think back in history back to the 1930s. A bunch of scientists have gathered in a room somewhere in New York. And these scientists are among the most brilliant minds you can imagine. Albert Einstein, Enrico Fermi, Leo Szilard. And they're all gathered together because they're doing a top secret project known as Manhattan. We all know this is the Manhattan Project that eventually would create the first atomic weapon. But their research went farther. Many of those scientists started with the idea that the atom could be used as a source of energy. That's something so small, we can't even imagine what an atom looks like to our own naked eye. Turn that into something so profound that it could be used not just for destruction, but also for other uses. Over the last 70 or so years, we've seen what those uses can be. They can provide energy. They can also provide other means to be able to create new resources for power. What are your ideas? I want you all to go home tonight and do two things. And I mentioned this in my head. The first thing I want you to do is create two columns on a blank piece of paper. Ideas and beliefs. Write them down. What your ideas and beliefs are. And then ask yourself, why is that an idea? Why is that a belief? Challenge them a little bit. And ask yourself some questions about them that you never dared to ask before. The next thing is to think about the ideas that you always had in your head but never really talked about it to anybody. Think back to the early days when they came up with the airplane. I saw some old footage of where they literally had airplanes like wings stacked on top of each other on a bicycle and they thought that was a great idea. Well, it turned out it crashed in about five seconds, but the point was it was in somebody's idea. That was their conception of flight. So go home tonight and do those two things. And challenge yourself as to what an idea and what a belief is. Because ultimately what it will show you is that with ideas, anything's possible. All great things can happen. I'll leave you with one last thing now. Think back to Socrates, the original Greek philosopher who was the teacher of Plato, who in turn was the teacher of Aristotle. Socrates asked so many questions of his students. He was always asking questions, questioning their ideas, questioning their beliefs. Unfortunately, 
because he was convinced they, because there were people in the town convinced he was corrupt and young, he was forced to commit hemlock, commit suicide. It just goes to show you, ideas are transitory. Beliefs are basically grown up ideas. So challenge yourself tonight as to what an idea is and what a belief is. And what does that have to do with the price of rice? Not a thing. <laughs> Not a thing.